after Jesus rises from the dead, he has a new favorite phrase that he likes to say, and that phrase is, peace be with you. He says it here in our reading that we just heard. He says it several other times as he appears to his apostles, and they're afraid. They're not sure what they're expecting when they encounter the Lord. They're, they're not sure if he's a ghost. They're not sure if he's an imposter or, or, or whatever. They're afraid. And he says, peace be with you. Peace be with you. In a few moments in the Mass, we'll hear those same words. We'll hear, uh, I'll say, uh, right before we would normally have the sign of peace if there wasn't a pandemic, uh, Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace in accordance with your will. Peace. Our Lord wants to bring us peace. Here in Minnesota, we've had a little bit of a tumultuous past week. It hasn't been exactly peaceful with the goings-on in Brooklyn Center and the Derek Chauvin trial coming to a close. Uh, we're not sure exactly how peaceful things are going to be this, this past week and going forward these next few weeks. We're not quite sure how peaceful the world is going to be. But here's the secret. No matter what's going on out in the world, no matter how uh, not peaceful it might be out there, in here, in the depths of your heart, you can have interior peace even if the craziness of the world just keeps on getting crazier. You can have interior peace. That's the peace that our Lord is bringing. Jesus didn't come to bring peace to all the nations so that everyone would get along together uh, and all the nations would be, uh, come together as one uh, here on earth. Obviously, we're all going to be one in heaven one day, uh, those who believe in him. But uh, if Jesus came to bring peace to the worldly nations, it, it seems like it didn't work. No, Jesus came to bring peace to our hearts. And in order for Jesus to give us peace in our hearts, we have to allow him to do so. But we are so good at finding things that distract us from that peace. We are so good at finding those things that bring us trouble in our hearts, that have questions arise in our hearts. We're so good at seeking out those things. Like when there's craziness that's going on in the world, we're so good at going right to the news. Even if, you know, the news is, uh, we're watching the news source that we agree with the most, they're still trying to hype it up so that we get pulled in, so that we get drawn in. Both sides are trying to suck us in so that we just get more anxious, more worried, and we don't have that interior peace. We want that peace that the Lord has to bring us. And in order to have that peace, we can follow what our Lord says here in the gospel today. He says, look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones. He gives himself to us. He gives his body to us so that we can have peace. He gives us this experience of him so that we can have peace in our hearts, even if there's craziness going on in the world, even if the apostles are afraid that the Romans and the Pharisees are going to come after them and find them, they can have this peace of Christ because they've encountered the Lord. And so today, as we receive the Eucharist, right after we'll have invoked the name of the Lord and asked him to send peace upon our hearts, we'll encounter the Lord in a way just similar to how the apostles encountered him when he said, look at my hands and my feet, touch me and see. We will touch the host with our mouths and we will consume our Lord and receive him and his peace into our hearts. And so as we prepare ourselves to receive the Eucharist, to receive that peace, let's take some time to reflect and realize all the things in the world that are trying to get our attention, that are trying to take away our interior peace, that are trying to get us anxious and turmoiled and to say, I don't need any of that. I can turn that all off because that just leads me away from my interior peace with God. It doesn't help me in the end. I need to stay true and anchored to our Lord and the peace that our Lord gives and not to whatever the world is trying to sell me. And so let's take a few moments just to meditate on that and have that silence. Have this time with the Lord, just you and him in your heart, asking him for that peace, even in the midst of perhaps a crazy world.